Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. <laughs> Welcome. Hello. Um, d d to Clanad, which is Dan Nalk backwards. Dan Alk. And backwards. I guess it is. It's or also. <laughs> it's also an anagram for DNC Mario. If you if you're looking for some it's me at the Democratic National Convention, <laughs> <laughs> which might not be the worst place to get it, I, I bet there's some forward progressive thinking people there. I could use some. Let's go. Okay, well let's let's hit new game and see what happens. Yeah, you're getting <laughs> at a political event. That doesn't sound too far off. It's <laughs> better than uh, waiting to get rid <laughs> by their policies. Am I right? Uh, <laughs> Wait, whoa, wait, whoa, oh, whoa. yeah, I gotta change this. We can name this. our character. Yeah. What's the first name? Um... Um... S... <laughs> T... A... R... N... Uh -huh. U... T... Z. Starnet. That's the first name. Okay. It's doing that thing where it highlights the word that like my iPhone does when it's like this like, isn't you, you, the right you, word. Yeah, you that can't you're possibly typing. mean this, right? No. I hate when you type a word correctly and then it autocorrects it to y the wrong word. You, you know what? I'm gonna change my mind. Let, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. F. <laughs> Capital F. Uh, okay. Uh L U N D L. Next name? Flundel? Yeah. All right. <laughs> How did I know when you went F, you were gonna write Flund? Like, I, I just- there's something in my head that was like, it's gonna go Flund. B? Uh-huh. B. I. I. N. Uh-huh. K. S. Flundel Binks. <laughs> Flundel Binks. I like it, it's right? Good. It rolls right off the tongue. What language is it? <laughs> <laughs> Change the protagonist from uh, Okazaki Tomoya will disable voices. Well, we're gonna we're gonna do the voices, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes, of course I wish to do this. Flundel Binks! <laughs> it's been years. The world is covered in white. Snow. Just to clarify, keeping a PG. So you're gonna be the the protagonist? Oh, that's you. I'm sorry. I mean, you, you, do you can no, if you no. Want. Do you have a voice that's good for a protagonist? Yeah. Yes, it's snow. <laughs> God damn it! Even now, it continues to fall, coating me in its paleness. Ah, what could I be doing here? Better yet, how long have I been here? I'm cold. My hand is buried in snow. It's holding on to something. I whip it out. It's a pure white hand! What? A girl's hand! Oh. A dead girl's hand! Jeez, what's going on here? Oh, yeah! Is this gonna be serious? I, well, uh, supposedly... Okay, so we didn't even, like, preface this at all. Not at all. This this is a... Uh, we wanted to play a Vizu novel, so I looked up what, like, the best Vizu novels were on the Switch, and this was one of them. This has, like, good reviews? Yeah, this is rated very highly. Really? For, like, the Vizu novel genre. Awesome! So, apparently it's good. Let's see what and happens. it doesn't have any nudity in it. Oh. I know it's a bummer, but also it's not a bummer because we don't have to do any editing on our part. Well, I didn't have to anyway. Alright. <sighs> All I had to do was look at cute anime girls, and now Ben gets off scot-free! You happy about that, Ben? Might as well be named Scott now. You monster. I wasn't alone. I wipe away the snow on her face. Her profile, sleeping peacefully, appears before me. Yes, this girl and I had always been together. Here in this world, this empty, sorrowful world. Jeez. Wow. So heavy. So heavy. Huh. Enter the game. The, <laughs> the black... I hate this <laughs> town. There's just too many memories here I'd rather forget. For example, when I peed my pants. Damn these trees! They're beautiful and I hate them. Yeah. Every day is the same. 
go to school, see friends, live in bliss, come <laughs> home to a place that I can't stand, nothing new ever happens. I wonder if anything will change if I keep living like this. I wonder if my life will ever change. There's nature almost everywhere you look around here. I guess today is just another day of trekking through the mountains to get to school. The beautiful, foresty mountains <laughs> filled with clean air and fresh animals. The trip yeah! would be the fresh animals. <laughs> the trip would be so much easier if I could just level them all. Jeez. Wow. If I were able to go in a straight line, I'd probably save myself 20 minutes. <laughs> so what <laughs> So what about the ecological disaster that would cause? <laughs> 20 minutes so, every day. So what if I've got sick fucking buns now from climbing all these mountains? Mm. How much time would that save me a year? I try to do the math in my head as I walk. I could like meditate or like think about cool stuff or listen to podcasts or something. Oh, I can't figure it out. Ah. I don't see any other students from my school around in this motherfucking no. paradise of a town. Isn't it so interesting how you never see any other people around in these visual novels? Yeah, it really is strange, huh? Except the Santa one where there were hundreds of thousands of people in the streets. That's right, there were literally millions. Supposedly. This is the main street to school too. Normally there are students everywhere. Today isn't a vacation or anything like that either. So I guess that means... <laughs> I'm late! <laughs> Responsible students don't just stroll into school at this hour of the day, after all. I could just check my phone or a watch. Easily. Or even just like look at the position of the sun. Oh, sure. Still, I continue walking at a leisurely pace, unfazed by my realization and the deserted ta scene before me. Oh, wow, it actually is deserted. Yeah. <laughs> well done. 200 meters left to the school gates. I can't take the excitement! <laughs> <laughs> I stand still for a moment. 199. Sigh. I exhale dejectedly while gazing up at the sky. 198 to go. <laughs> Presented by Key. I hallucinate texts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When you look up in the sky, you know how you see like floaters? It's spelled out Key. There stand the school gates, all the way up on the ridge. Whose idea was it to put a school on top of a giant slope anyway? The hill goes on like a never-ending nightmare. It's a beautiful day! <laughs> <sighs> There's another sigh, but one much smaller and shorter and girly than me. <laughs> I look to my right. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Wow. <laughs> A girl is standing there just Well, as... less a girl and more an eyeball with a girl <laughs> around it. <laughs> oh no. That's terrible. Jeez. A girl is standing there just as still as me. She might be dead. She might be an alien. There are like 80 places that the artist could have put the mouth where it would have made more sense than where it does now. Oh. Absolutely. Yeah. And also like... There's like these beautiful cherry blossom trees and shit, like... Ugh, my life sucks! <laughs> I can tell from the color of the school insignia on her uniform that she's also a third year student... ...like me. But she isn't someone familiar to me. I know everybody in my school. Every single person. Her short hair that comes to just above her shoulders flutters in the wind. See how it flutters. She seems to be on the verge of tears, I guess. As a repeat offender of late arrivals, I'm not bothered one bit. She, on the other hand, seems far more concerned. <laughs> My whole family died! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a kind of a bad mood. My, my family died a couple hours ago. Oh! The idea <laughs> of getting to class this late must be pretty upsetting to her. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs> yeah. She's nodding her head up and down with her eyes closed, as if telling herself something. Then she opens them. <laughs> she stares up at the school gates. <laughs> Do you like this school? Processing! <laughs> Do you like this school? Huh? Oh, she's not asking me. She's talking to somebody else. Someone in her head, I guess. Totally normal. 
I wonder how he, or perhaps she, replied? I really, really like it. But I know that sooner or later, everything changes. <laughs> Shutting down. <laughs> <laughs> things, the happy things, all of it. Rebooting. <laughs> Nothing can stay the same forever. She continues to talk to herself awkwardly. Even if things change, will I still be able to enjoy it here? I. You just have to find more. That's it. <laughs> Locking target. <laughs> <laughs> The girl looks at me, surprised. Actually, she looks at me and everything around me, above me, and below me for 50 <laughs> feet in every direction. Her field of vision is very strong. She's got two eyes like chameleons that like move very fast <laughs> yeah. in different directions. Like, <laughs> it's almost as if she thought she was alone this whole time. I thought I was alone this whole time. <laughs> then you just have to find more things that are fun, more things that make you happy. That's all. I know you didn't ask. That can't be too hard, right? Processing. <laughs> Hair. Changing frame. <laughs> the expression on her face. Ah, yes. Oops, I came in my pants. <laughs> I remember those days. What it felt like to be naive, simple. A your pants jizzer. <laughs> those days are now. <laughs> I was gonna say, they're the same age. Yeah. That's something we've all experienced. Wow, thanks for bringing it home. Anyway, she died. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. We start to climb the hill. The silent hill? Jesus. Long, long hill. <laughs> we really climb that hill. Oh boy. Oh, this is April like 14th. That's not a month. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fool me, clan ad. <laughs> Not a lot of blondes in this class full of Japanese people. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Sunohara! The teacher calls a student's name. Absent as usual. I look to my side where Sunohara's desk sits empty. His attendance rate is even worse than mine! He's been dead for months! <laughs> you see, the two of us are often labeled as the delinquents at school. But that's probably why we get along so well. When he's alive, that is. <laughs> he's really the only person in class I can have an honest conversation with. He never lies. Never tells fibs. He's been dead for months! <laughs> In my head, he's my best friend. <laughs> Nevertheless, today's classes begin. I spend them looking out the window. Sigh! <laughs> the teacher's voice is going one ear and out the other. That's not how sound works. <laughs> hey, there's actually people. Yeah, look at this. Class is finished, bringing the school day to an end. Soon Ohara never did show. In fact, the only person I've spoke to all day is that girl from this morning. It really is just another ordinary day. I could have sworn you were describing how strange this day was. Yeah. And that your friend's not here and you talk to some random girl. I guess it is kind of strange that that one guy's head is mutated into a giant circle that says <laughs> April 14th, Mun. But what are you going to do, right? I mean, shit happens. <laughs> Do your homework, April 14th, Mun. <laughs> Since I'm not part of any after-school club, I grab my empty bag, cut- why did I bring a bag? Cut through a pack of jabbering students, and leave the classroom. I could go home, but the world's on fire! <laughs> <laughs> there wouldn't be anyone else there at this hour. Not anyone I'd want to see anyway. I don't have a mother. Oh my god! I was told that she died in a car accident when I was still little. I don't even remember what she looks like. Anyway, I guess I'll just sit here with no mom by myself in my empty bag. <laughs> Life is just rolling <laughs> along great. Peaches as hell. After her passing, my mother sank into a pretty deep depression. My father, probably due to the shock of it all. Using alcohol to numb his pain, he wasted away his days gambling. Because of that, a lot of my time as a kid was spent arguing with him, actually. Um, actually, a lot of my time <laughs> with my dad was spent arguing. But one day, our relationship took a turn for the worse. He got violent with oh, me. Oh, man. Ever since then, my father stopped showing his emotions. 
He's also stopped calling me just Flundle. Instead, calling me Flundle Coon. As if we're nothing more than strangers. Is this going to be like too heavy in subject matter for us to be doing stupid voices and all that? Like, um, what kind of game is this? Oh, I don't know. It's, it's one of the better visual novels, right. so I've been told. Let's see where it takes us. And indeed! We're gonna keep being idiots because we can't help but do that. That's just how we are. Yeah, it's who we are. And indeed, he's turned into just that at this point. It's like he's retreating into some kind of shell. And the world's ending tomorrow. <laughs> just another ordinary day. <laughs> As if he's trying to sever the present from the past. I'd be bet- it'd be better if he'd just push me away completely or even just keep hitting me- Good Jeez. god! At least then I'd know where I stand with him. To the left! But no! <laughs> Every time he sees me back home from school, he brightens up like an old friend is visiting and starts making small talk. It hurts! It hurts so much! I can't stand being home anymore! That's why I stay out so late now. By myself, with an empty bag. People use video games as escapism. <laughs> if I come home when I know he's asleep, I don't have to see him. It's why I go to bed at dawn. Of course, then I don't wake up till noon. It, I've been late almost every day since starting high school. I've spent my life like this for almost three years now. Wow. Boy. What could have been a funnier reason for him not showing up at school all the time and always being late in a wacky manner than the fact that he gets beaten up by his dad? <laughs> Hilarious. As, excited to see where this, this world goes. I am a little curious. Today's no different either. I go home just to change out of my school uniform, then leave again before my father gets back. The routine practically feels ingrained in me at this point. I wander around town aimlessly until nightfall on the trail that I hate walking. No matter what, I always end up at the same place. On my way, I grab some... takeout. <laughs> from one of the local restaurants. It tastes horrible. <laughs> I hate it. Just another ordinary day. Everything sucks. I carry it with me as I walk down the massive hill from this morning towards the school dormitory. Our school pays special attention to its clubs. So a lot of students come from more rural areas to enroll. Those students then lo- ah! <laughs> Whoa! Whoops. Oh, you- oh, you- Excellent. You went fast backwards. Forward, no, yeah. you went back- you rewinded. I know. That's the opposite of fast forward. Well, fast backwards. Mm. <laughs> um, excuse me, Blockbuster, how do I fast backwards? <laughs> <laughs> Be be cackwards fast backwards. <laughs> <laughs> These those students then live here for the next three years, separated from their parents. Those kids are practically members of a different species when compared to someone without any academic dreams like me. Normally, I wouldn't have anything to do with them, but Sunohara lives here. He used to be on the soccer team and was even accepted to the school because of how good he was. However, he lost his spot on the varsity team Dude, as a freshman. Dude, it was time of death. <laughs> yeah. As a freshman, after being suspended for getting into a huge fight with a student from another school. The fight that killed him. <laughs> By the time the following year's squad was decided, he was already an outcast within the team. The on team of life! <laughs> on account of how dead he was. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he had no chance but to leave this mortal coil. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have the money to move, though. <laughs> or the life. <laughs> uh, yeah, or the energy <laughs> on account of his death. <laughs> so he still lives in the dorms where all the jocks are. On the floor. <laughs> <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you? Oh, Ooh. I should probably... Oh, yeah, go ahead. No, you can be sooner, because we'll probably have conversations. That, yeah, that's yeah. what I think. But the volume's nearly all the way down. Soon O'Hara is standing there. He's in front of another room talking to a student about twice his size. Why would he be talking to him about twice his size? <laughs> it's not that interesting a subject. I'm not twice your size. Why are we talking about how yeah. I am? That doesn't matter. See, these, exactly. <laughs> these walls are paper thin, so I can still hear you. Listen on your headphones or something. Come on, I can't afford those. <laughs> Then don't listen at all! <gasps> but I can't get into the zone without it. The, the zone, zone of, of life. living? <laughs> yeah. 
Plus, I think the music's pretty cool anyway. I Boy. see dead people. You should listen to the lyrics next time. They're totally cool. I don't think you get it, semicolon. I don't care if they're cool or not. You need to understand how pissed off I am right now. Seriously, if I hear you one more time, I'm going to start believing in zombies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kicking your ass. Slam. <laughs> Soon Ohara hangs his head still standing in front of the now closed door. Damn it, stupid rugby players. He mumbles the words under his breath. I can hear him. He won't be able to hear you like that, you know. That's you. Oh. Damn it, stupid rugby players! Standing behind him, I repeat his words with a yell. grab your head and drag you into my room. <laughs> he grabs my head and drags me into his room. This game really does a lot of little things to make it feel more lively, doesn't it? Yeah. Extra scenes, little camera motions and stuff. Yeah, definitely. It's cool. Oh, this is, there's a lot more locations. Yes. I can hear angry yells of, hey, hey, who was that? Resonating from the hallway. It was me! Pant, pant, yes, that's a pair of pants. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to get me killed? You're the one who said it. Listen, Banks. <laughs> my relationship with those guys has been rocky at best lately, and I haven't even been causing any trouble on account of the fact that I've been dead. <laughs> then let's go out with a bang, Already like you done. did a couple days ago. Yeah. <laughs> I still have another year left here. In the spirit realm on Earth. <laughs> before I have to return to the mothership. <laughs> before, uh... Before, uh, whatever. And you just- <laughs> Nailed just, it. Oh, Fucking I was thinking it. of, uh, what the fuck is the- The night before Halloween. Mischief night? Mischief Or night. devil's night? Devil's night. Just what? like in The Crow. Yes. Or Hocus Pocus. Or the, the real world. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Which it's also from. And you just- well, because in those- it's like the dead rise or whatever for that night. Oh. Right? It's like the crow. Is that what it's supposed to be? He, yeah, he's like a vessel for vengeance, and he like rises on Devil's Night for the night. You so could just go revenge. with the Day of the Dead. But the Day of the Dead is like you celebrate the dead. Oh, they don't come back the, to life. Yeah. No. I'm not that familiar with Mexican. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it culture. is. I don't know. And you're just gonna live ah. in fear like this the entire time. Hey now. You're an all star. I don't back down from one on one fights, even if that means. Weren't fighting one of the rugby guys. <sighs> but he's not the only guy on the team living here. They're in all the rooms around us. <laughs> he's not the only guy on the team living here. How envious I am of that life. <laughs> I can't make trouble here. I'd be totally outnumbered. But I guess I wouldn't mind doing something crazy right before graduation. Something like, I don't know, putting a whole penis in my mouth. <laughs> It wouldn't fit though. I have such a tiny mouth. I wish the artist gave me a bigger mouth. Anyway, I'll be counting on you to have my back then, alright? You want me to hold your back while you put a whole penis in your mouth? No, Flundle, you never listen. <laughs> Great! I'll be sure to take a shot of my own at you while I'm at it. <laughs> um. <laughs> you're supposed to be covering my back. Um. <laughs> Not stabbing my um. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the rugby team side, you know. Since when? Oh, not now. But I will be when all this goes down. I'm a coward. What? Why? Did these two years we've spent together mean nothing to you? Really? Boom! I mean, I know I've been dead for one of them. <laughs> the wall shakes. It's hell trying to drag you back down. <laughs> the rumble is followed by a quiet down. <laughs> I'll kick the wall right back for you. No, don't. You get scared way too easily. Dude, put yourself in my shoes. What, kill myself? <laughs> He's my tiny dead man shoes. <laughs> He's crying now. Stop crying, baby. Especially not these sheets. Don't cry these sheets. <laughs> Please, just don't make any trouble while you're here. Seems like there's somebody in bed that just has a huge boner. 
Yeah. Oh, don't mind that. That's Claire. It's one of the rugby guys. <laughs> I don't know why I said Claire. It's like <laughs> any male name. And just Claire <laughs> popped into my head. Damn it. Uh, uh, sure. His pathetic display has such an impact on me that I give in without asking. Cool. Well, he's gone now, and I'm alone in his apartment, jacking off. Mm. <laughs> munch, munch. Those are the sounds of jacking. <laughs> yeah. Munch, 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 munch. I settle down in the small area between the wall and Sunohara's ever-present Kotatsu table and begin to eat my dinner. Sorry, could I get some tea? Uh, you think I'm gonna serve you tea? Yeah, I asked for tea. Hey, I said sorry. I don't care if you apologize or not, you're not getting any tea from me. You're not getting the me tea. <laughs> I'm not spilling this tea. Tea for one, bitch. <laughs> what do you think this is? The cafeteria? <laughs> We're in your room! I understand that. Uh-huh. And you're my maid here. <laughs> yeah, you definitely don't get any now. What? Anyway, <laughs> check out my boombox. Want to listen to some cassettes? <laughs> yeah, what the hell? It's bizarre. Please? I forgot to buy some. So is the idea of going out to buy some yourself just not registering? But I thought you wanted to do anything you could to be of service to me after I saved your death! Yeah, no. right? What? That never happened. <laughs> That's what you told me after I saved you, bitch. That man named Sunohara died long ago. What? Before you now stand your loyal attendant, I am but a simple tea servant. That's what you said to me. So, tea, please. Oh my god. The game, like, caught on. Yeah, right? That's the worst story I've ever heard. Alright, could you just get me one last cup of tea, then? I'm not going to love it. <laughs> I just like the idea of him gritting through yeah. his teeth. Uh, well, oh, oh, oh. well, we gotta D look up the Dangopedia. Dangopedia. <laughs> Dang! I'm just- I'm not getting you the last cup, just like I'm not getting you the first cup. Oh, but it's such a moving story. You'll definitely want to pour me one some once you hear it. You seemed done for many spaces after suffering <laughs> yeah. life-threatening injuries. My god, it's like an hour to get to the next word. <laughs> but I, thirsty, ordered you to make me tea. So you summoned up the last drops of your strength to go brew some, even as you graveled on all fours. And then... Mr. Binks, here is your tea, sir. And then you gobbled my wiener in your mouth. What is this conversation? It's the most useless <laughs> conversation. Of it. And this cub will be my last. You died with a smile on your face. Stop talking to me about that day a month ago. I'm smiling right now. <laughs> Man, I sound remarkably satisfied in that story. Well, it was exactly how you'd wish to go, after all. I'm glad it happened that way. Nevertheless, I sat there drinking that final cup of tea as I cried. See, moving, isn't it? So, tea, please. Oh, I already <laughs> told you no! <laughs> Yo ho! <laughs> I spent the rest of my time there reading a magazine and not conversing in with my friends. In total silence. With no TV in the room, the only things I can really do are talk to Sunohara or Reed. Oh, plan B it is then. <laughs> so I chose reading! Yeah, wow. Yawn. I'm fucking bored. About time to go to sleep? It was late and the date had already changed over. Yeah, I guess so. One light I didn't cross was staying the night in Sunohara's room. Just the thought of waking up in the morning to someone like that is depressing. Good god, man. I thought he was your best friend at the school. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go take a shower then. Wanna come? Yeah, feel free to join. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sunohara grabs some underwear and a towel from under a heap of clothes in the corner of his room before leaving. I'd prefer- you shower with your underwear on? Loser. <laughs> I'm a never nude. <laughs> I'd prefer to avoid having to welcome Sunohara back to his room after a shower. So I'll leave while I can. Rudely. I close the magazine and get up off the floor. Get up off of that thing. Uh. As I do, I find myself looking at a cassette player. There's a tape still sitting inside it. I try playing it. Seven days. <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> it promised to kill me after seven days. <laughs> Out comes the melody of a Japanese rap song that hasn't been popular for a while. It's T-U-R-T-L-A Power, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles song. I still love it, despite its lack of popularity. Talk about lame. Who listens to this kind of stuff? <laughs> I meant I hate it. Oh. Choices? I'm gonna record my own voice. You monster. Alright, I'll dub my own rap over it instead. I'll call it a rap dedicated to my close friend Sunohara that I wouldn't want to sleep in the same room with and don't want to say hi to or bye to formally. Alright. I, I can just imagine him being moved <laughs> to tears by it. I'm sure. Here we go. Take a deep breath and press the record button. Yo, yo, my name is Binks. You're a... I string the words together at a good tempo. <laughs> You're a... But then I can't think of anything else to say. Forget it, this is stupid. I quickly get discouraged. Why am I doing this for him? I HATE PEOPLE! Yeah, I mean, you- you said three words. Alright, whatever. Considering- Considering our, our relation- <laughs> Relationship. <laughs> you probably couldn't even call us super close friends to begin with. I mean, what- what- I, I feel should... like there should be a bouncing ball on top that moves over each <laughs> word as you should say it. <laughs> That's the only excuse for them being that far apart. <laughs> yeah. I should just get going. I decide to leave before Sunohara returns. Wow, it's a brand new crappy day. Ugh, oh, the sun is shining, the Sakuras are all in blossom. I hate this! <laughs> She's standing here again, just like yesterday. But what something's got her antenna up. <laughs> <laughs> you again? Why can't you go up the hill on your own, you fucking sk- Um, well, how can I put this? Er, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I don't even care anyway. Yeah. You don't know me after all. Oh, alright. But you really should get to school on time like a good student. But you're late for school. You shut your fucking <laughs> mouth. Oh my god. She points straight at me, her eyes burning right through my thinly veiled reticence. FORGET ABOUT ME! Ah, my <laughs> reticence! <laughs> You're burning it! <laughs> I look away, unable to meet her gaze any longer. What am I doing acting all serious and getting on her case? I don't know her well enough to do that. I guess I'm just an asshole. She's absolutely right though. She's just as much of a delinquent as I am. Do what you want! And then I punched her in the gut. I start up the hill without her. It wasn't cool, but I mean, hey, at least now something <laughs> happened. It's just, what drew me to her was the fact that she didn't really look like a bad student. That's all. Oh, please wait. Ugh. A voice. It's hers. Yeah, obviously. Hey, you said it was hers. Um, may I join you? Ugh. I look behind the her to find me standing there quietly. I'm very good at, at pathfinding. <laughs> Pay dearly for your pathfinding. <laughs> Locking on to target. Why? Well, I feel anxious going alone. Not my problem. It's kind of odd that she's asking me of all people, someone she doesn't even know. I mean, she has to have at least a friend or two, right? I look up the hill, squinting from the sun's blinding glare. The beautiful rays of sun that are shining upon this heavenly earth. <laughs> Just another day. Eh, it's not too far away. I guess she's not. I, and she's got no one. To, I don't know. Oh, and she's got was, no one else to go yeah, up with right now. I, I just read the bottom line first. It's amazing. I guess it wouldn't hurt. Do what you want, freak. I start walking again after repeating myself. Please wait. No. The girl eyes me, looking as though she's deciding on whether to say she's just popped it, what's just popped into her head. Then... Handpan! <laughs> a single word is all that comes out. Uh, how should I even reply to something like that? Baguette! Baguette. <laughs> I don't really understand what you mean. Oh, that was you that said baguette. You took the words right out of my mouth, you freak. <laughs> I was just gonna say that to you. So what, you like Anpon or something? Is that it? No, not particularly. I'm glad we're having a conversation with words in it. But it's not as if I hate it. I guess it's, I like it more than I dislike it. We really are getting somewhere in this conversation. Ah, uh, he actually says I don't care. Not like I really care. Alright, well, let's get going. Okay. There's a bit of newfound energy in her response after I blew her off. 
Maybe that's some kind of weird magical spell she cast just now. The thunk, the thunk, the thunk. Who are you gonna go with that the thunk? That the thunk up in your trunk. <laughs> well, you go with that the thunk. That's uh, on Ponmon, on Ponmon. <laughs> her footsteps make it sound like she's galloping behind me. Huh? I just called her a horse. The bell rings, ending the period. <laughs> Wish it was that easy. Um. Hmm? Someone calls out to me unexpectedly. I turn to face the source. Ah! Oh. R R Ryo <laughs> Fujibayashi? She's the class president, I think. Or rather, she's the girl that was saddled with the responsibility of being the class president. She's not very good at it. Oh, dip. If I remember correctly, she's Kyo's younger twin. She's insecure. She insecurely darts her eyes left and right as she's standing next to my desk. Um, um. Yeah? Um, here. She says as she hands me a sheet of paper. A love letter? Eh? N no, it's not. <laughs> it's. <laughs> it's a citation. You're being charged. You're being. Uh, no, no loitering. <laughs> yeah. You are bolder than you look. It's not easy to just hand that to me directly. Um, it's not a love letter. <laughs> it's a will. From your dead friend, Sunohara. <laughs> it is a chain letter, then. It's kind of mean of you to hand it to me so nonchalantly. I, I don't think it's a chain letter, either. Wow, your hand is tiny. Maybe... Wow, yeah. Maybe you should read it. Maybe we should just stop fucking around and just. Maybe it's about how uh, everyone you know died, <laughs> and you also uh, have to get a root canal. A letter of challenge? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know about all that. Thump. Fujibayashi blushes and presses the paper against my chest. Oh, the old blush and press. Hot. It's been years. It's the handout from this morning's homeroom. Oh, I'm glad it took 13 lines of dialogue to get to that point. I toss it in my desk drawer without so much as looking at it. It's probably nothing important anyway. Get back! <laughs> Do you need something else? Um, I think you should try to come to school in time more often. That's no- that's no concern of yours, right? But, um, I think it'd be better if you came on time. So you think you can start picking on your classmates' attendance now that you are the class prez? That's not it, but... Yeah, it is. Well... Her eyes start to water. Now they start to fire. Then grass. <laughs> then earth. <laughs> then Captain Planet flies out of her eyes! Oh my god! I guess that was a little too much. Ignore her. Oh, jeez. So and hard. apologize, okay. dude. I'm sorry. I went a bit too far. No! Ah! No, I was out of line! <laughs> I'm sorry! Hey, uh... Hey, Binks, don't make the class press cry, okay? Otherwise, a sister will come after you. It's okay! I'm not crying! <laughs> Just a giant boot comes through the chalkboard, like... <gasps> Someone messing with my sister. <laughs> oh no, I'm not crying! <laughs> Nobody's messing with me! We must pause for one second whilst I tinkle. Oh. It will be so brief. Okay. This music is relaxing me into having... <laughs> All my muscles are relaxing into a pee stain. We're back! And uh, Dan took a long pee. Okay, it was great. In any case, since no tears have actually come out, let's just say she isn't crying. Alright, don't ever repeat that in any context. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, it's a really good point. <laughs> well, I'll consider it. Oh, uh, yes! Oh, uh, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> no, I'm crying yes. tears of joy! <laughs> but if you could, please try not to be late. With that, Fujibayashi takes out a deck of cards from her shirt pocket. Wanna play Magic the Gathering? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'll ruin you. <laughs> then Jen- I've got a- I've got a Jund summon deck that's gonna <laughs> fuck you uh, up! Alright, <laughs> alright. <laughs> then gently but clumsily, she begins to shuffle the deck. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. That's a quad shuff. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Oh! Clatter. 
and the cards scatter <laughs> splendidly across the floor. Oh, 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 oh <laughs> fuck! Oh, how splendid! <laughs> Fl flustered, she picks up them up. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> there the hasn't been too much of that in this game yet. And starts shuffling again. She manages to do it this time. Fujibayashi clumsily fans the cards out and holds them out towards me. Pick your death card. <laughs> What's this? Um, go ahead. Should I pick one? Please pick three. They're all alpha rares. But don't touch my tiny, <laughs> tiny hands. <Yeah. laughs> They're the hands of a child. Blue Eyes White Dragon is in here. <laughs> if you pull it, you can keep it. I have no clue what's going on. Is she trying to show me some sort of card trick? And how did her hair get under her eyebrows? <sighs> Whoa. And it- <laughs> Somebody ripped off her eyebrows. Just, just paste it back on, it'll be fine. <laughs> In any case, I take three cards. Please show them to me. Not a very good card trick here. She now close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> she stares at the three cards I had chosen. Oh. Okay. An ace, a three, and a ten. I got it! <laughs> Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Huh? Binks, Coon! <laughs> You'll be late tomorrow. Is she trying to pick a fight? You know, that's what killed Sunahara. <laughs> hey, didn't you just tell me to come on time? <laughs> What's this about? Um, on your way to school tomorrow, there'll be an old lady who will have trouble crossing the street. You'll be late because you help her. You piece of shit. <laughs> but she'll be grateful for your help and give you some money for your trouble. Wait a second, why is your fortune so detailed? I wouldn't believe that if you were using tarot cards, much less playing cards. How can you possibly tell all that would happen with just numbers and suits? Actually, <laughs> your fortune is you will be clubbed in the heart. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a girl's intuition. By me, right now! <laughs> Her sixth sense is in full force, huh? Can you see dead people? And then someone will steal your timex. <laughs> not my timex! On top of that, she's pretty confident about it. Your Could diamonds, it? not your timex. Oh, I heard you say timex. No, I was going with the suits of the cards. Oh. Come on, man. Could it be that you actually don't want me to compare- What, you don't- The hearts, <laughs> stars, and horseshoes and timex? Could it hearts, be- Hearts, stars, and horseshoes? <laughs> Clovers and blue moons. Th those, yeah, those are lucky charms, not playing card suits. Yeah, well, I'm talking about playing cards, man. Timex. <laughs> Could it be that you actually don't want me to come to school? Th that's not it. <laughs> it's just... What the fortune says. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> okay, then. I absolutely won't be late tomorrow. Eh? Even if I come across an old lady in trouble at the crosswalk, I'll pretend I don't see her. I'll punch her and kick her on the ground. I- I don't think that's nice. I'll pull her hair and yell, Don't help this lady! And then I'll kick her in the groin. I think you should- <laughs> I think you should help others when they're in need. What <laughs> is this game? I'll bonk her on the head and scratch her on the arm. If a fucking dragon doesn't tear the roof <laughs> off this school and swoop in here in five seconds, I swear to God! No, I'll abandon her. But... <laughs> Ding dong. I love them. Delicious. <laughs> there, the bells ring and go back to your seat. Y yes What Man, the fuck? This guy makes friends really easily. Upon me saying so, Fujibayashi heads for her seat with her shoulders drooped. I really made her upset what, by what with being an asshole and everything. <laughs> Sheesh, she's making me feel depressed. Everyone makes me feel depressed. It's like every time they talk to me, they're in a bad mood afterwards. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, please don't take the fortune too seriously. She says and trots to her seat. Miserably. Maybe she's really trying to pick a fight after all. All right, time to fight. <laughs> Having been told such a weird fortune, I'm feeling kind of blue. What the fuck is your problem? <laughs> He's like king asshole. Yeah. As I rest my head on the table after third period, I hear a loud bang come from the seat next to mine. That's hot. Someone's fucking. 
I look up to see that Sunohara had slammed his bag onto the table. Oh, you shouldn't slam your bag, bro. There's lots of people <laughs> in the world that could use yeah, that slam. Yeah. Shouldn't just be wasting slam. Yeah, you can't just toss slams away. <laughs> There's kids that starving kids in other countries. Don't say that. What? What? Just continue with the fucking dialogue. Oh, right, because I said slam. No, I just- no, that's not what I meant. Of course not. I just meant slamming like the slit. Whatever! Like, like a breakfast slam. You said- no! <laughs> just the slamming of the backpack on the table. Oh, okay. It's like you should waste- I don't know, it was a fucking- Whatever! Okay! What's wrong? You seem to be in a bad mood and it's not even noon! <sighs> oh, I woke up feeling great. Had a fantastic morning. That's good to hear. Ah! Oh, uh! Oh, wait. Uh-oh. I went way oh, back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Pick three. Oh, boy. Uh, boy, that conversation went on a while. Oh! And then Tsunohara. Okay. What? It's what ha oh. It's what happened after that that put me in such a bad mood. After I eat breakfast, I normally make myself some co- Oh, that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty you. Sure that's me. After I eat breakfast, I normally make myself some coffee and go back to my room. Nothing makes me happier than having that little moment of peace and quiet right before I get Jerk my off. day started. <laughs> right before I get my day started. Peace and quiet. <laughs> okay, come on, hurry it up. Get to the story going already. All yes! Right. So I was jacking off. <laughs> and just like every other morning, comma, I pushed the play button on my cassette player and started drinking my coffee. Gulp, gulp, gulp! I like to relax to the sounds of my favorite hip-hop songs. Not only that, it's a one-of-a-kind mixtape with all my favorites on it. Never to be duplicated. No <laughs> tape could ever be duplicated. <laughs> ah, so graceful. Yo, yo, my name is Binks. You're a... You're a... Forget it, this is stupid. <laughs> it made me spit my coffee out everywhere. Why were my awesome songs replaced with your nonsensical rapping? Songs, plural, it was two seconds. Yeah. Huh? Did I do that? Uh, yeah, you introduced yourself at the beginning. My name is Binks. Oh, yeah, I did. It was probably <laughs> Jar Jar. <laughs> <laughs> that tape was one of a kind, man. It had all my favorite songs on it! <laughs> 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 Diddle Fingers McGee farts on a street. Whoa. <laughs> All my favorite songs. <laughs> Don't get so mad. I was trying to do something nice for you. Even if you were any good, I'd still be mad at you. Why? I was rapping to you about all your best qualities. Sounded to me like you couldn't think of a single nice thing to say. Well, yeah, actually that's true. I couldn't come up with anything when it came down to it. Sorry. Oh I guess we're not God. friends anymore. Fuck you. Man, what you did was messed up. Huh? Are you saying I'm in the wrong here? Of course- Of course I am! How could this be anything but your fault? Not only that, you left it on record and went home! You wiped out everything after your stupid freestyle. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Who cares about those lame old songs? I love being a complete asshole. I do. They were the best of the best. It was like, now nah, that's what I call, now nah, that's what I call music. <laughs> Give them back. It was that, now nah, that's what I call music, 69. <laughs> I've been waiting 10 years for this moment. <laughs> you know that's impossible. Then go rent the CDs again and remake the whole mixtape. I'll make another recording and try harder next time. How's that? That's a pretty good compromise, right? No. Don't ever record over my tapes again. In fact, don't even touch them. Don't even touch me. You know what? Me putting your dick in my mouth is over. Damn it, what did I do to deserve this? Other than that D&M thing you just mentioned. <laughs> You learned a good lesson. Always be sure to break off the recording protection tab on the cassettes you love. Even if I did, uh, even if I did, I bet you just put tape over it and record anyway. You fucking monster. Okay, then the lesson obviously is to hide the things that are important to you. We wouldn't be having this issue if you just kept your hands off my stuff. Don't ever come into my room again. Sunohara yanks his chair out and sits in it. <laughs> 
Why is he so mad? I'm sleeping until noon. Don't bother me. Didn't you just wake up? Yes, but a certain someone ruined my nice, relaxing morning, so I'm going back to sleep now. Once he finishes his rant, he rests his head on the table, exhausted from the tirade. Yawn! I yawn slightly. Yeah, that was the point of putting yawn in. Yes. Maybe I caught his drowsiness. I look down at my desk table to figure out what subject fourth period is. I see wood. That thin textbook means English grammar. That teacher constantly calls on me. Ugh. Skip class. Wow, it's just that easy, huh? I leave the classroom and head over oh, to the old that building. That looks suspiciously like the Doki Doki Literature Club hallway, doesn't it? <laughs> I think all Japanese hallways look like that. I guess you're right. I tiptoe my way down the hallway. Through most the of, Most of the classrooms here aren't used anymore, so we don't have to draw anybody. They'd give a culture club one of these rooms if they applied for it, but now they're just being left as is. I sneak into one of the empty classrooms unnoticed. I find a chair and sit down, placing my whole weight on it. It breaks. <sighs> I die. Game over. <laughs> Beyond the curtainless windows, I see the same sky as always. Wow, that's the title of my memoirs. <laughs> Beyond the curtainless windows. I go to the trouble of being truant. And all I do is kill time. The air of the empty room absorbs my muttering. What is happening in this is game? Nothing. Nothing is, is happening. Anything happening? There's nothing happening. When will my life change? When will our life change? We want the change. You shouldn't have to play a game for an hour before anything happens. Will there come a day when it will change? And yeah, we know it's a visual novel, but my god. So on the spot with this. <sighs> Alright. Should- what, what do you think we should do? I- If anybody out there is like a huge clan ad fan and knows that it like really gets good after this point, let us know in the comments. Cause, I don't think we're gonna keep doing this one. Although yeah. it was funny for us. It was funny. It was- it was entertaining, but man, But it's like, not going anywhere. It's not giving us any love. Um... It's just like... Like a douchebag being kind of annoying to people. He's being like really mean to people. He's been so mean. And I'm not into it. Not loving it. It's not- it's- it's- it's rustling my jimmies in, in a bad way. <sighs> let- let us know in the comments what you think. Have a good one. We love you. We love you. Goodbye. Sucking the toes, sucking the toes, sucking on his toes, sucking on Randall's toes, Randall's toes, ooh, Randall's, Randall's toes. toes.